quite a common question we're hearing here with composure stuff is how do we actually get this exported so i thought it'd be really useful to just cover this so we've got a sequence going on and we can see that like in composure it's quite nicely comped and everything but we just want to make this media play at the right point uh, when we move this playhead it's really really useful for different animations on screens as well you could trigger different parts of an animation to be synced in Unreal Engine. So it's really useful for that. So let's look at just adding this media source. So if I go to my content browser, I've got all my alien media here. So I've got the PNG source that it's reading from. Um, I've got the media, media texture that it goes to, this alien media. And these two things I'm gonna need to load into the sequencer. So to load your like media source, you can go track, media track, and if you go media source, I'm gonna grab this alien source. And I'm also gonna right click in edit section, we can make sure this is set to the, right, the corresponding kind of media, alien media, alien media, video texture. So with those two set, uh, this should now scrub as per our timeline. Let's make sure this clip is back to the beginning. And yeah, as we can see, we're getting movement based on where we're scrubbing. So that's obviously really useful for lots of things. Let's check the composure output. And yeah, when I press play in here, getting it moving, and we can control that. So that's super cool. Now let's look at exporting this. So to export this, you can have this comp highlighted, and you can go track actor to sequence comp, and that's going to make sure our output is going out. So that's great. We also need to make sure this uh, composure output is set to player viewport compositing output, because it's kind of going to launch the player viewport as a source for it to render from. So that needs to be ticked as well. So with that all set, we can just go into Movie Render Queue. If you don't have Movie Render Queue enabled, that's a plugin. You can just search and find that in plugins. Movie Render Queue and additional passes. So now I can click that and we can just do our normal rendering stuff. Choose any amount of settings for your render that you want. I'm just gonna render mine at regular 1920 by 1080. I'm just gonna save it in a new folder. Save it in there because it's going to export a series of JPEGs and hit render local. And here we can see it's pumping out our frames with our nice composited footage over the top of it. So if we go into our folder here, you can see that we're getting, getting our JPEGs. And you know you can load these into Premiere or any other video editing software to sequence these.